Jesus is here with his heart exposed. He has a brilliant white light around him, and there is a great flame around the white light. It looks like the Father's paternal heart that I have come to know recently. Jesus says, I am your Jesus, born incarnate. Jesus, today I've come to reiterate the need for the heart of the world to be consecrated to our to united hearts. All that opposes this is outside the will of my Father. This consecration of individual countries will serve as a sin offering and a protection from Satan's attacks. It is the merciful hand of my Father that offers this grace in the midst of chaos and confusion. You must see that I cannot shepherd you away from sin if your hearts carry you elsewhere. This con consecration of whole countries, of churches and congregations, will renew in hearts the goal of personal holiness, a goal that holds little value in the world today. Through the Father's will, I desire that the world be transformed into a new creation, a creation of holy and divine love. You have the technology to make heaven's plan known. If you hear me, put it to use. While the world waits and watches for the next act of terrorism, the next natural disaster, I invite you to believe in the solution heaven has given you. Do not waste time in contemplating ways this plan might fail. Face the grave reality of the place the world is in today and decide to help me. Decide to help all of humanity. Holy and divine love are never wrong. Therefore, the vessels of holy and divine love, the united hearts, must be regarded as trustworthy in their essence and their call to humanity. To choose holy and divine love is to choose the heart of the Father and therefore his mighty divine will. Do not accept the spirit of the world as your own, the spirit that encourages do gloom and doom, the spirit that discourages the solution heaven offers and prefers to await the hand of justice. I do not desire to impart my justice upon the world. Rather, I invite the heart of the world into my heart of mercy and love. Heed my call, accept my invitation with gratitude. My Father, who is the creator of all good, offers the grace of this consecration as a means of being once more united to all mankind, as was his will from the beginning of time. The consecration would form a bridge between heaven and earth, a bridge between man's free will and his divine will. It would be a bridge of love. My dear brothers and sisters, do all you can to further this consecration in hearts and in the world. For I tell you, it is when this bridge is constructed by merit of this consecration, the cross and the victory will become one again. Today, I'm extending to you the complete blessing of our united hearts. October 5th, 2007, monthly message to all people and every nation.